All right, good morning. Uh, today we're looking at a ship build that I've been messing around with for quite some time. This is actually an older ship that I built uh, back in my early days, and I've just slightly elongated it, made it a little bit longer than the old ship. Uh, that was called the Capybara, and I'll put a link to it at the end of this uh, video. But uh, for the guys on Reddit that were uh, asking uh, for the parts list and all that, I thought it'd be easier to just make a quick video. I'm not going to go through and actually uh, show you, you know, where to get every part and actually fly there. I'm just gonna like take it apart, hover over each piece and you composite and uh, figure it out from there if you want. But uh, as I said, this is a pretty good ship. Uh, this is my uh, go-to ship for whenever I uh, start a new NG Plus. I'll uh, usually build one of these, either the small one or one of these larger ones. Because they're very simplistic ships. There's not a lot of uh, trim pieces on it. And uh, I like to max out the cargo on these as much as I can. I got this up to 6,000, and as always, I maintain 100 mobility. So if we look at the, hey, uh, hey, what can I do? Sure, how about it? So you can see I have the uh, UC Prison Shuttle uh, tag here. I haven't named it, so maybe you guys can help me come up with a cool name. But uh, this is the ship that I'm using right now. It's this little Class A ship that I like to f mess around with, the Hermes. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, pretty simplistic ship. The only trim pieces on it are these two front Nova thrusters, braking thrusters, the wings, which are needed to hold the uh, three engines on the rear and the three uh, landing gears on the tail or on the, on the uh, end of the ship because they don't connect to the uh, ship without, they, they have side connecting points. So I needed something that could connect the engine to the fuselage and uh, these uh, Damos wings worked just fine for that. And I gave it a nice little streamlined look here. It's, uh, like I said, it's not a uh, elegant ship, but uh, it gets the job done, and I'm happy with it. You can see with my uh, buff, my payload's buff, I have 9,450 cargo. And when we're in space with uh, Sam Co on board, I believe that is up over 10,000. It's a C-Class ship, holds eight crew members. I believe it'll hold seven passengers, max shields. And uh, for the weapons, I have the C-Class weapons mounted up on the front here. And then I have some B-Class weapons slung up under the wings. And I have the uh, shield hidden on the third gear back here in between, uh, or under the center engine. It's a nice little spot for it to get it out of the way. On the bottom we have the uh, fuel tanks and uh, most of the storage and these are just two uh, like uh, trim pieces that I needed to hold the side wings on. I generally don't like to waste space or cargo or uh, weight on stuff like this but I had to have something to because uh, if you take them off I'm making myself a liar now. Oops. Oh, yeah. See, now they're not connected. So you need these pieces here to uh, connect everything. Anyways, we'll uh, get into the ship proper here. 1600 shields, which is the max you can have in the game without get, uh, getting into mods or... Uh, glitches or anything like that. I don't do glitch builds, so this is a completely vanilla non-glitch build ship. Eight crew members, the 29 light your jump range, you only need 28 in this game. There's nothing that requires anything over 28. And uh, doing that allowed me to use a class B reactor, or excuse me, a class B grav drive, which this RD3000 beta grav drive, and uh, that saves a lot of weight and still gets me over that 28 light year threshold speed 130 which is the top speed of a uh, class C and as like I said always mobility is 100 the mass at 28 17 is or is the uh, max 2818 is where the mobility will drop to 99 so I have one ton to play with so I don't know maybe I'll put the comp spike on here later I haven't gotten around to flying over to crooks yet and uh, doing that anyways uh, let me take this thing apart and I'll be right back. 
All right, we're back down here in the shipbuilder. I got this thing disassembled. We're going to start off with the Tayo Shipbed 200 landing bay, and you get these at Neon City. Directly behind it, we're going to use the Demos Companionway one by one. Snap it right on. On the sides of the Companionway one by one, we're going to use two NG20 landing gears in their wide configuration. They snap on just like that. On the front, of uh, either side of these uh, of the shipping uh, landing bay, we're going to use two of the Nova braking engines. You can get these at New uh, Homestead on Titan or New Atlantis. Directly uh, behind the, uh, I don't know if that's actually going to hook up. Let's see how we want to do this. It's always nice when you forget how your ship goes together. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to do this a little different because all right, so we'll do it like this. Damn, I can't. I think my mouse is going out. Over here we have a Deimos battle station two by two. We'll hook it up just like that on the top. A Deimos all-in-one berth, two by one, and we can snatch it on like that. And this will give me some attach points directly below. And we can hook up this uh, Galleon S204 cargo hold. We'll go right there. Another Galleon S204 cargo hold on the other side. And then in this little cavity right here, we're going to use our fuel. Or put our fill tanks. Where did I put them? Anybody see my fuel tank? Here they are. So I'm using two of these Titan 550 HE tanks. And you're just going to snap them on either sides of these Galleon S204 cargo holds. <coughs> and then uh, on behind these Galleon S204 cargo holds, we're going to use two of these Deimos Hull A's. I'll go on just like that. In this cavity right here, we're going to put our Fuser DC403 reactor, just like that. And then our Galleon S204 and uh, or third Galleon S204 cargo hold can go right there. And in this last uh, cavity over here, we're going to use a RD3000 beta grab drive. And it'll snap in there just like that. I guess we can go ahead and hook up our Cabot C3 bridge. Go just like that. For uh, layer 3 or deck 3, we're going to start off with this Deimos living quarters 3x1. And it can go just like that. A Deimos mess hall 3x2. It can go just like that. As you can see, it's a very uh, square shape, very simple shape. And uh, like I said, I was going for max cargo on these builds. Now I can make a ship that has over 8,000 cargo, and I'll post that also at the end of the video uh, using the SAL 6830 engines. These are the DT-230s, uh, I believe. Yeah, DT-230s. So if you haven't done the all the money can buy quest that Stroud gives you, those the SAL 6830 engines are going to be locked. You, know, you can't use them until you do that quest. So these engines for Class C are the most powerful before the SAL 6830s are unlocked. So basically, uh, this is just a build for people that you know haven't got to that point in the quest, or they just don't need that much cargo and uh, they want to just use three engines instead of six because those six engines are large, and it's a bit harder to find a way to shoehorn all that stuff onto these uh, these uh, ships. So anyways, as you can see here, there's no way to hook up the, they only have side attach points. So what I've done is I've attached the three engines together, you know, they hook up to each other, and then I've hooked up two of these Deimos wing A's, and I've got them facing aft. So they can go forwards or backwards, like up here. Do I have a gun on that one? You can't flip these things when they have guns on them. 
Let me just take that off real quick and show you. So you can see they can go side to side and then go forward or backwards. So we want this one facing with the pointy end going backwards. We'll put that gun on there and I'll go through the guns later and I'll show you how all that hooks up. So you hook up the first one to the starboard side, to the port side, and then if you grab the whole thing, it just snaps right on. Same thing with the landing gears. There's no way to hook up the gears because they don't have a forward attach points on them. By the way, these gears, these are the NG20s. These are the best gears in the game. They have four landing thrust. So, but like I said, they're a little trickier to get the hook up because there's uh, there's no way to just snap them on like this. But that's okay. We can get around that by using our Demos Wing A's. Where'd the other one go? Oh, here it is. So now we're going to do the same thing with the engines. We're just going to grab the whole thing and the whole assembly will just snap on. <coughs> Alright, so just to finish out the, uh, the port side, we're going to use a wing here. And there should be another one. What's this one? one two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So the others are going to be eight wings total. And then the other this side we're going to hook up to the top and to the bottom. That's not correct. I got these backwards because it doesn't matter, but I got the guns already mounted on these. And like I said, I'll go over the guns at the end and show you which ones I used. So you got on, uh, so this is deck one, deck two, and deck three up here. So you got the wings on deck one and deck three. You're leaving deck two open because we want to put our cargo uh, holds on the sides. And we'll go ahead and do that. So we're using some Degamma 1020 cargo holds. And these Degamma cargo holds only come from the Freestar Collective ports. So you can get them at Neon and uh, Cheyenne and uh, whatever the other one was. My mind's it's escaping my mind. <laughs> Oh, uh, Polvo, I believe it was. Yeah, Hope Town. Oops. Should look like this. And you're going to leave that front section open. So those were 1020s. Let me see what these are. Yeah, they're all 1020s. All four of them were 1020s when I got done. So we're just going to snap them on just like this. Leave this little section right here open because we're going to attach these PBO 300 auto alpha beams. We're just gonna, they're on a uh, horizon weapons mount and we're just gonna hook them up to the sides there. So just like that. On the bottom we're using a DP or 100 DP slim docker. It's gonna go on that one companionway at the bottom. There is a way that I could reconfigure this to get more, one more hab down here or maybe even two, I'm not sure, but it requires excuse me, doing some janky stuff down here and it, I didn't like the way it looked. So uh, I was actually just trying to make a nice look, uh, looking ship. Now if you look at the sides, you got this big gap here and uh, it looks, just looks weird. So what I found is you can use these Hope Tep Cap A's. And originally I had three of these going all across, but I decided we're going to hide the Assurance SG-1800 shield generator down here. And these uh, caps are called Hope Tech Cap A's. You can get these on Polvo at Hope Town. Also, uh, like I said, everything's maxed out. I have one kilogram of uh, space or of uh, weight to mess around with. But you can see I could just stick that up there and get rid of the the gear itself, it's redundant. It, I didn't need the extra gear, but it just looks weird to have a big ass open spot back here. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, I like the way that looks. It's nice and uh, tucked away back there. But uh, I was trying to keep everything off the top of the, the ship, which I uh, generally do on most of my builds. I just like the way it looks better. So like I said, it's not much of a looker, but it's a, a good ship. You can hold uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, seven passengers and eight crew members. 
there's nothing uh, extraneous like infirmaries or brigs or none of that because none of that works in the game anyway so they're just completely useless but uh, yeah I'm happy with this let me uh, get out of here like I said uh, it's still called the UC prison shuttle so after I post this you guys can help me come up with a cool name because I don't think everybody liked the capybara that I came up with the last time So deck one is just going to be that single companion way. And of course the ladders are never where I want them, but whatever. Is so I put the ladder over there. The speed of light. And none of that grab tech cheating. I wonder if I could uh, switch that around. Let me try something real quick. It probably won't work, but can't Anything hurt to try. I can help you with? Sure. How about it? So what I'm going to do is take that off, and we're going to switch these around to the other side. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Probably just move the ladder, get out of the way. Yeah, it's gonna always put the ladder there. I don't care, because it's such a small ship. If you want, you can just use the cockpit. And uh, you can go up to the to the second or third deck. Anyways, this is the uh, battle stations. So this gives you six crew members, plus the two from the cockpit is eight. So that's cool. And then I put a uh, all-in-one berth over here. It's got four ha uh, b uh, bunks. And uh, these Deimos living areas have the cleanest bathrooms in the game, so that's nice. If we go up to deck three, this is the mess hall. You have my attention. Okay. Something you need? A little uh, meeting area back here. There's room for uh, 16 crew members or 16 people to eat at a time. This is a living area back here, or, or just an area to hang out. Was the door already open? Talk to me. Yeah, it was. Okay, that's confused. This is actually a living area back here. So, another bathroom. I must confess. Just staring at that wall there, buddy. Drive makes me feel alive. <coughs> so. Go ahead and get into orbit. I'll uh, do some combat. Show you what it's what it can do. Let's put this bird into space. And just like that, we're space. Let's rebalance our power settings. Alright, if we look down here, I've got 10,395 cargo. That's still holding 100 mobility. And who's my crew? I got Andresia, Barrett, Samco, and Sarah Morgan on board. And I'm not doing uh, Omari or uh, Vasco. I'm not doing anybody that can adjust or modify the power or the shields. Because I'm doing some a uh, uh, little bit of testing to see, because uh, I'm having problems with that shield bug popping up on a lot of my ships, so I'm trying to avoid anything that can uh, mess with the shields to see if that helps. Anyways, we'll fly over to the Serpentis system, do some combat trials. This is NG plus 10 on very hard. I like the way those DT six two thirties look. They're they're pretty nice. Our daring voyage in the oceans of space brings us here. All right, come out, come out. 
I don't fly around in third person combat. I see a lot of people do that, and I don't know how they do it because I just get disorientated constantly. That was easy. Let's see if there's a hot spot down here, a hostile area. Nope, that's a sensor contact. It's a pretty slim ship. Honestly, combat, space combat in this game is a little boring at this point. Like, I don't think I've been destroyed in a long time. Now they said that, I'm probably going to get my ass shot down in about three seconds. I've probably built about 30 or 40 ships at this point. So I think I've... Uh, figured out most of the little tricks of the trade. Are you prepared to Always easier thrusters. Oh wow, they jumped in right on top of me. As soon as you destroy one, hit the thrusters, or the burners, and uh, we'll get around behind that guy. Thrust up. I don't even think they uh, got my shields down very much at that point. We'll do one more. I think every planet over here, or like 90% of the planets, when you jump to them, have asteroid fields. So I guess I was hoping to do four at a time somewhere, but I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, it's nice to have a class C ship, but they're really not necessary. Uh, B class ships generally, uh, like I have one that has 4,000 cargo and the shields and the firepower is essentially identical and has plenty of half space inside. So I mean, you don't you know, think that, you know, you have to have the most powerful ship being a Class C ship, which, I mean, it's nice to have and everything, but the B-Class ships are fine. Oops. So he's shooting at me. When you boost, they lose their lock on you. That's that. Let me uh, get pointed into the sun. We'll do some glamour shots. Over here. Full boost. Break. Oops, that's not, that's not photo mode. Sorry, it's choppy. It does this when I'm using OBS to record sometimes. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. 
I just wanted to get a nice shot of the the afterburners and the braking thrusters firing at the same time. Like I said, this is a ship. Uh, it's only about uh, a little over half, just barely over half the uh, maximum length allowed by the game. So it's not a big ship. Anyways, I'm happy with the way it comes out. I've built like probably like six or seven variants of this ship. So I've got the uh, process down pretty good. Anyways, that's that. And I uh, hope you guys like it. And I'll uh, see you next time.